Time, so all of you pick up your percussion instruments and make it in the chart. is my homemade drum kit for practicing on. Look, there's two saucepans there. I washed them first, don't worry. And there's, there's a washing up bowl and a couple of wooden spoons. Broken, but I've been working hard practicing. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Good. Well, if you want to join with us and you haven't got a percussion instrument to hit, you can go into the kitchen and get an instrument and mm. you can give us a rhythm. Sort of drums can't play tunes, they play rhythms like this. Ta 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 ta. ta. Everyone, instruments up. Mr. Oldcastle and his grandson, Dan, had gone for a mystery drive in Gumdrop. No maps or plans, said Mr. Oldcastle. We'll see where Gumdrop takes us. He took them to an old-fashioned garage in the woods. We'll need some petrol, said Mr. Oldcastle, as they approached a rickety old garage. Dan thought that the garage man looked like a magician. What a beautiful car, he said. I've just the right petrol for an interesting journey. Mr. Oldcastle didn't notice that the name of the petrol was Spell. He paid, and they were off. Gumdrop shot forward like a car half his age. The petrol is working already, thought the garage man and smiled. Mr. Oldcastle appeared to drive into a thick fog. Then he heard another car approaching, so he honked the horn three times. The fog lifted as if by magic. The other car was skidding from side to side and was an old veteran car, a Darak. What was most surprising was that it was being driven by a toad. It skidded to a stop and toad jumped out. What a magnificent motor car, he said. What style, what grace. And he offered to swap Gumdrop for his own car. Mr. Oldcastle was just about to say he would never part with Gumdrop when the toad spotted Ratty and Mole out on the lake. Friends of mine, he said with an embarrassed smile, but I'd rather they didn't see me now. And with a yearning look at Gumdrop, he drove away. It's magic, said Dan. Where are we? Mr. Oldcastle had no time to explain, as there stood a tortoise thumbing a lift. As he got in, he said, If you see a hare, please drive on. Sure enough, they soon passed the hare, who was fast asleep. Then they saw what looked like the finish of a race. The tortoise plodded towards it. I think the tortoise is cheating, said Mr. Oldcastle, but he had no time to explain because running towards them was a lion. This was dangerous. Mr. Oldcastle tried to avoid a collision. 
It's only an ass dressed as a lion, said Dan. But too late, the car fell into a ditch. Allow me to help, said a tall man. I am the Baron Munchausen, and am acquainted with such difficulties. He then picked up Gumdrop on his head, walked out of the ditch, and put him gently down. They followed him across the meadow as he told them some incredible tales. Meanwhile, Toad had appeared again. He saw Gumdrop standing all alone and stopped. He looked around. I wonder, he muttered, climbing into Gumdrop. He started the engine and the car moved forwards. Oh, bliss, said Toad. Oh, poop, poop, and he drove away. Mr. Oldcastle heard Gumdrop and came running. It's that car mad Toad, he shouted, after him. He jumped into Toad's car and followed him. Just then, their way was blocked by seven little men marching along. No, we haven't seen Gumdrop, said one of them in answer to Mr. Oldcastle's question. And we must hurry home, otherwise Snow White will be cross. They marched off singing. Snow White? Where are we, Grandad? But Mr. Oldcastle had no time to explain. They had driven into a busy town. Suddenly, a small boy leapt into the car. He was made of wood and had a long nose. He fiddled with the switches and honked the horn. He was very naughty. Pinocchio, come back, an old man shouted, but Pinocchio ran away. Mr. Oldcastle drove into a wood. They saw a notice and walked down to where a March Hare and a Hatter were having tea. A Dormouse was asleep between them. Have you seen Gumdrop? asked Mr. Oldcastle. What is Gumdrop? said the Mad Hatter in reply. Just then, the March Hare poured tea on the Dormouse's nose. Honk, honk! Mr. Oldcastle heard Gumdrop's horn, and they raced back to the road. There was Gumdrop and Toad and two policemen. It turned out that Toad had stolen the Darak as well. The policeman took Toad away. As they went to drive away in Gumdrop, he ran out of petrol. A thick fog came down, but Mr. Oldcastle remembered what to do. He honked three times on Gumdrop's hooter, and the fog vanished. The petrol pump had disappeared, and in its place was a table with books on it. I thought as much, said Mr. Oldcastle. The garage man was Merlin the Magician, and he gave us magic petrol. That's why our mystery tour turned into a magic journey into Storyland. Will I meet those exciting people again? asked Dan. When you read these books, said Mr. Oldcastle. <laughs> Okay, Odie, let's see if you're worthy of being the Caped Avengers high performance mode of transportation. <laughs> Go. Faster. 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 All right now. Stop. <laughs> Seat belt. The Caped Avenger needs a seat belt. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulders Friends are there to give you a tip And I, then you need them They're even there when you go For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care Hey, you, the kid who missed last week's show. You better have a good excuse. All right, it snowed last night. I love the first snow of the year. I still love the first snow of the year. Enjoy the snow, Garfield? Okay, I'm ready for summer now. Dinner time, Garfield. Food. 
I ran out of your regular cat food, so I bought you the dried kind. I'm sure you know what to do with it. I certainly do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Enjoying your cat food, Garfield? We must have it more often. What are you trying to tell me? Oh, charades? I love charades. Let's see. First word. Me. No, you. Uh, your. Your. First word is your. Uh, your leg. My leg. St standing? Standing in something. Uh, third word. I sounds like I have a by shot sky my 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 third word is my fourth word uh eating food food you're standing in uh